everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is well i hope everyone has been having some crafty fun what you've been making let me know in the comments for today's video tutorial we're going to do something a little different um we're going to create a merry-go-round and i don't have an actual one to show you as i ran out of time this week but the original template that i designed was for the hunky dory magazine i think it was number 16 so it was this one it came out last year it was a sort of magical swan lake and unicorn theme it was a lovely magazine with some fun gifts i mean you can see very wedding that one and the, the unicorns the bottle stamp and magical papers in it but i was challenged to get something a little different and of course i love a challenge so i created this merry-go-round there you go sorry about the light the bottom is a little gift box or trinket box so the whole top lifts off so you could pop in some sweets or a treat or even a gift card it's big enough for that also once i'd finished it i decided that it would have been really good if underneath you'd pop some battery fairy lights just underneath the rim thought it would have been lovely it would have been a wee lamp be night light for someone Today though, I'm bringing in the dreaded C word. Yep, it's Christmas. I'm going to turn this into a little Christmas make. So I'm going to use some of my craft consortium pattern papers. I'm using the candy Christmas ones. Some nice, fun, bright papers. I mean, these are gorgeous. They're last year's, but they're still, oh, so fun and bright. I decided to use and uh, let's see where is it this one you can see it's got a glossy finish to it and i've used some older pink papers again craft consortium from the ink rose pack um i just thought it would be nice with one of the bright bright pink papers as the background just to highlight it i'll show you just about like that and i've teamed it with some brown pattern paper but I'm also going to use a digi stamp, a reindeer digi stamp. I don't have it printed out yet because I couldn't remember the size I need to make them. So once I've got things made and I can guesstimate the size, I'll get that printed out. So all that's left for me to say is I really do hope you enjoy this. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you maybe want to become a follower, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Maybe even leave a wee comment so i'm going to go and get everything all cut out and we can get started hi there just a quick message from me in the future i've just finished the project as you can see we sneak but there's so many problems first the video is recorded all wrong and it goes bloody at times i do apologize for that and there are so many mistakes i always like to pre-make a project even if i've made it a hundred times but i ran out of time this week and well let's just say you're going to have a laugh i really should have made more time but please 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 if you're going to make this watch the video first before you do and then you'll see where i went wrong it's just silly little things like bits i forgot i forgot to add a bit before i glued the base on that sort of thing uh, i'll add a few comments in just to keep you right as i go you go through the video but be prepared for a laugh Again, I apologise for everything and here's another little sneak. But, back to the show. Now I've got everything cut out, I used the free download that you can find on the Craft World website. I'll link to it below. You have to be a member of the Craft World website to use the free downloads. But once you've signed in, you can find loads of different downloads, uh, lots of inspiration, everything crafty is there. But again, it's a free download if you're a member. So what I've done, I've cut everything out that I need. I've got my top and my two, my lid and my base and the middle. But I've cut two layers. Again, if anybody wants to know how I do my layers, leave a comment below and I'll let you know. So instead of just being the one layer that you would get with the kit, I've cut an additional layer. Like so. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add some colour to the edge yep you know me I like to add some colour to my edges just to take away the harsh line so that when I put these on they don't look as 
bad. So just layers together. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll start making. Everything's got some colour on the edge now, so you can just make that out of coming closer. That's better. You can just see it takes away any harsh lines. I've did it for all the layers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these together like so and also with the little bottom one. And then onto the top pieces, you can see there's a score line. I'm going to add these on and also the bottom ones as well. So we'll do that first. I'm going to use just my tacky glue as normal. And this is just really simple, nothing fancy for this. There we go. So I'm just going to repeat that for the other seven. And that's it. There we go, that's all the layers done. So next what we're going to do is you're going to fold your tabs. And that tab like that. And then we're going to just glue them next to each other. So well, I'm going to use my hot glue, but you can use any glue you want. And then just continue all the way around. So now I'm just going to glue it closed, it's just as simply the same as you went all the way around. That. All you're going to do with these V top tabs is glue them inside, that's just going to support your roof. There we go, that's the roof done. Now you're going to take this piece and we're going to fold these tabs back the way. We're going to glue it inside, lining up your tabs. See? So we're just going to add the glue and glue in place. Nice and simple. There we go. And that will just keep everything in shape and support it. I also have some layers that I've cut out. I've cut an extra layer to give it more support. I'm going to stick these together and I'm going to just stick that on the bottom. You won't really see it, but I just think it'll tidy it up. There we go. That's your top almost complete. 
So you can add some ribbon or some glitter down the seams just to finish it off, but I'll do my decorating at the end. So I made a boob. I stuck this on too soon, so I've quickly peeled it off and I'll show you what I've done. So you're going to need the side piece first and what you're going to do is it's going to fit through this hole. Opposite way, even. Like so, you want it to be nice and tight. And then these tabs are going to glue around. To help hold the shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the other circles, this one, and I'm going to put it on. And this will help hold my shape. And then I'm going to glue these tabs. It's still open, but we'll sort that in a minute. So that's, sorry about that. What you want to do before we finish gluing this together is you're going to glue your layers onto your circle. And then we're going to pop it back on here and repeat what we did at the top, gluing the tabs. I'll just set that there. Now all we've got to do is glue this wee bit. Let's add some more glue in. And glue in place. You're going to cover it with pattern paper, so that's all right. Now we can glue this to the underside. Go. So that's the basic part of the merry-go-round done, apart from adding some pattern paper here. So I've cut this out as well, and I'm going to layer them together, and then I'll just wrap it round. So, nothing fancy. There we go. I had to go off camera so that I could hold it in place properly without you having watching me constantly trying to take make sure the glue takes hold. So that's it on. There we go. So now we're going to make the base and the lid of the box that it sits on. First of all, you've got this decorative piece and you're going to add that around the lid. If I show you quickly in the picture. It's just a little decorative edge. So I've cut out some wee bits that I've already added the colour to. And I'm going to glue these all on, just like so. Like we did with the other layers. I'll do that quickly off camera so you don't have to sit and watch me and then we'll make up the boxes. I've added the little layers as you can see. I just added them right round. So next we're going to make up the lid. So you've got two circles and two edges. I'm going to curve the edge and then I'm going to fold my little triangles back, the little tabs. I'm doing the same on the other one. And then I'm going to glue these two together. 
Give me that hot glue. And then I'm going to take one of the lids, flip it onto its back, and starting with the tab end, I'm going to glue round about. So the first one, oh, get it started. Okay. Blob of glue. And then I'm just going to go all the way around. Once you get to the end, you're going to glue the inner tab inside and just close off, lining up to make sure it hits flush. So I'll add my big two prop tabs first. Make sure it's lined up and glue inside. And that's your lid made. Before I add on the top circle, your second one, to hide all the tabs. What you're going to do is add on your decorative edging. So you're just going to repeat what you did around the edge, folding back all your wee tabs. Give it a slight curve. Except this time, obviously, it's going to stay upright. You're going to glue your two together. You've got a little teeny tab, you're just going to glue them together. I'll do that. Again, starting at the tab side. There we are, we've got it all the way around and now we're just going to glue that onto the top of the lid. And there we have it. Next, you're going to make your base and it's just made in the exact same way. So I'll do that off camera, see if you're having to wait and then we'll go on to putting it together. I've made the base up as you can see and I've also I've added some uh, paper around the edges and I've also cut a layer for the middle. Ignore the hole, it's just I'm using that for something else so you don't need to worry about that because it won't be seen. So that's your box all made. It just pops on. You can add more decoration if you want. You can add some more to the, the base as well, but I think it's fine as this. So you're going to take this piece. It's got the wee small X. It fits perfectly onto the bottom of this. But what you're going to need is a piece of dowel, plastic pipe, or an old pencil, something that is just, once put through here, it's just going to pop out and no more. I mean, that's coming out about quarter of an inch so it is in total it's eight and a quarter inches so I'm lucky that my husband is a joiner who has lots of different pieces of material but you could get a bit of wooden pipe you could get a thick pencil an old paintbrush handle would work as well anything you've got will fit perfectly so what you're going to do first is you're going to glue it to this Try and do it as perfect as you can, right in the middle. Doesn't matter if it's not tidy, you're not going to see it. I'm going to glue that. Give that just a second or two to stay in place. 
then you're going to fit it through like so and then you glue these two layers together nice and simple so i've made another boob yep i can't believe it either it's been a while since i've made it so i forgot to put this circle on this circle layer the three layers it should sit in between so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to gently remove this i've already taken this back off and i'm going to pop it on so please don't do like i did and mess everything up I have to take this off as gentle as I can without trying to rip anything. Pop this one back on. Glue down the tabs. There we go, ignore the mess. I'm going to glue this back on. Feed it back through. And then glue the two circles together again. Make sure once that's glued, just make sure this spins freely. Oh, it's going to a bit. Sorry about the dog. Just a bit of glue. You're not going to see it, but just want to make sure it's glued in place. So what you're going to do now is you're going to add foam pads around this outer edge. Use this as a guide and make sure they don't touch this part. You don't want any touching. So, I'm going to just make sure I've got enough glue on this. Then I will do that. Sorry about the noise. What I'm going to do is trim my home tape pad so I've got here. And with this together, I'm going to make sure it doesn't touch and I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to add two layers there we go and just make sure that moves I pop it on like so, the middle should move round. So what you're going to do is take off your backing and glue it to the inside of the box. So you don't need this layer, just ignore it. Oh, I can't believe I'm up to up again. I think it's just one of those days. Or maybe I should have prepped one, gave myself more time. And just glue it with your foam pads and make sure it moves. Turn it to the side. To see. Now I'm going to tidy up a bit and we'll get ready to start decorating. Off camera, I've printed out the little reindeers I'm going to use. You can see I've started colouring. These are a image that I found on Etsy by a company called Zeke Sammy, I think it is. I'll leave a link below um, to the one that I'm using and you can find it. Also off camera, I did a little strip of ribbon around the edge and I've layered together some three little circles from my scraps and I'm going to glue that on the top and that'll act as my handle for when I turn. Right. 
side you can just see like that but I'll add that one in a bit first of all I'll zoom you in and you can see what I'm doing with the colouring so just one second that's me zoomed in as you can see so I'll set up my colours and I'll show you what I'm using so my darkest is E29 and I'll just get started And there we go. I'll finish the rest of the camera and I'll cut them all out. I'm going to fussy cut them. I'm not using the strings, so I'm not really worried worried about them. So I'm just going to leave them off when I cut them out. And I'll be back in a minute. And there we go. All the little deers are all cut out. I've also cut down some skewers. I had some extra big barbecue skewers and what I've done I've cut them down to four and a quarter inches. Yep, yeah, four and a quarter inches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this ribbon and I'm gonna wrap it around. So I'll use my hot glue a blob of glue on to begin with and then I'll bring it round and I'll just start wrapping add a wee blob of glue every now and again just to hold it in place And there we go. I'm going to do that for all six. So now that they're all wrapped, what I'm going to do is glue my reindeer onto them. But what I want to do is measure it first. So what I'll do is I'll turn it upside down and with the open end, I'm going to stick that to here so it's going to get stuck like that and then I'm going to divide them up so judge in it six equal spaces so I'll let that take hold and then I'll divide it up and add the other five I might add another blob of glue around about that. Oh, sorry. I'll add another blob of glue around that so it stays in place. I don't want it moving off. Let me just put... Let's see. That's better. I'll add the glue. Right. 
there. And let's see. And I'll get that to stay. So now that the glue is taken hold, and see if I hold it to the side, you can see them better. I'm going to add on my little reindeers. So if I set that like that, it might help. What you want to do is take your little reindeers and you're going to curve it slightly. And then these are going to pop on here like so. If I... Sorry if my head comes in just so you know, I just need to be able to see. I've turned it a little just so I'm in between the spaces so I can see better. I'm going to do is put a blob of glue on the back of my reindeer and then pop on my stick just so that the feet are almost level like that. Make sure it's curved enough. You like that? So that when we, if I just hold it like that, you'll see that they'll move. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. And back in. There we go. So that when we turn that, if you can see, they'll all start to go. While I've got the hot glue, I'm going to glue this wee half circle, but oh, yeah, circle layer even, onto the top. I think that's about equal. Sorry if my head pops in, I just want to make sure. There we are. And then it turns so when it's facing you, you know, the deers will all go around. Now it's a matter of your decorations. In the magazine, all I did was add some ribbons and gems, and added one of the wee sentiments. And see, but you can do anything you want. You could add glitter ribbon and like I said you could add wee lights underneath anything you want so I'm going to go and get some bits and bobs from my stash and then we can start decorating of my gems um some of my really fancy gems again really iridescent ones got a big one for putting on the top it catches the light and some of these little ones as well so sparkly I've also got some of my iridescent glitter. This is Starlit Sky. And I'm going to pop this on my little deers on the wee spots that they have on their back. I should have done that beforehand, but I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some in one of my wee trays and use some glue that dries clear and paint it on. It's a great tip if you forget to put glitter on once you've made something and you can just add it afterwards. Also, I was asked on my Instagram page how I tie my bows, and it's really simple. If I show you, so I make a loop over and through and pull, and then I just tidy it up. Nothing fancy, and that's it. I'm going to use this anyway, just like that. So I'm going to add some ribbon round about the top of the lid. I should have done that before I put it together, but I'll just do that just now. I'll just cut this both. And then nice and simple. Some other people tie bows, they take the two ends, you take your two, wrap them together, pull it through, and you get a bow that way and just loosen and tighten 
till you get the right size that you want. And you can see. I find that you don't get the perfect shape with that and also the ribbon ends up backwards. The way I like to do it is that way. My wee mommy told me how to do that, so that's that. So I'll just get started and I'll start decorating. So I've brought the camera down so you can see it in all its glory, you can see all the detail, the glitter's still drying so it's still a little bit white but you can see it all. I've also, if you can just look in there, maybe if you point it this way, you can see a little bit of silver wire in there. I've added some lights so I'll show you them in a minute but I wanted you to be able to see everything, I've added all the gems. And if I bring it out a bit, you can see it spins. I'm so sorry about the camera moving one handed, I am hopeless at. But there, you can see all the gems at the bottom, the wee deers. And if you just hold off, I'll just show you what I've done. Oop. Turn it this way. You can see, a wee bit messy, but it's just to show you ignore the glue strings. I've pierced a wee hole there and I've fed the lights up and through. You can just see them. I should have done it beforehand but if I just switch them on. There we go and if I put this back on you can see the wee lights. There we are. I wonder if you'll be able to see it better if I do this. There we go. I've got a window behind me so it's not the best light, but you can see it. There you go. I'll set back up and I'll be back in a minute. And we're all finished now. You can see, you can see that glitter's just drying off. Still a teeny bit of white, but a great technique if you forgot to add your glitter and you don't want to have all that mess. Again, just make sure the glue you use is a clear drying glue and then again it still spins nice. Those wee lights, you've still got your room inside the bottom of the box to put a wee gift, a gift card. Perfect little lamp to sit at the side and because it's Christmas you can bring it out and you can have it sitting for your decorations. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry about all the mistakes I made. I can't believe it's just one of those days and I didn't have any more of any of the papers so I couldn't start again. So you'll just have to have a good laugh at the bloopers. I hope you still will make this. Again, remember I'll leave the links to everything below where you can get the free download for this. You can find the digi stamps, all the colours, all the different materials I use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, maybe become a subscriber, that'd be great, it really helped my channel. Until next time, bye!